Hello guys, I am back with a new episode, how to configure network access to the storage account. But before starting make sure to hit the subscribe button for new episodes. Thank you. So it is a long awaiting option and this configuration brings you to deny access to traffic from all the networks and grant access to traffic from specific vnets or subnet including also internet traffic. This configuration enables you to build a secure network boundary for your application, also grant access to public internet IP addresses and of course access to on-premise clients. It is the same thing. To mention that uh, this type of configuration is a part of Azure architect technologies and if you intend to pass AZ300 exam this video can be useful for you ok guys let me start with configuration of storage account click storage accounts click add new one and here we need to, to add a resource group in case if you don't have it just hit create new one it's a bit simple and here we need to <coughs> to add the name of storage account choose the location performance uh, account kind I will leave this all settings default because this uh, video is focused how to configure network access to the storage account so click create and we are waiting for deployment So, once your deployment of storage account is completed, go to resources and here in the left tab, click on firewall and virtual networks, choose allow access from selected networks and here you have two options to add uh, existing virtual networks I will create new one so I have one vignette here and let me choose for example if your application is a part of subnet 1 I will choose this subnet and click enable The, the subnet is presented here and if you want to add another subnet you can repeat the same steps enable and the second step to add in case if you want to add a new virtual network this can be done vignette 2 and so on create your address space after that you need to submit the subnet address range and after that you will enable this and the last step to add a subnet here OK, and below we have a firewall option. Uh, this option will allow you to add IP address from the Internet or your on-prem network. And below some exceptions, 
for Microsoft services and the second is to allow read access to storage logging from any networks and allow read access to storage metrics from any networks ok guys the configuration of Azure storage firewall and virtual networks as you can see is pretty simple and this option has not been presented until September 2017 if I'm not wrong so please comment below if you have additional question don't hesitate to ask me thank you for watching and see you next time bye